about to change, don't be overconfident, man, because there's a long way to go. You got to keep playing hard. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Buccaneers just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiven to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. They come to the line, and it's first down. the football from the 28 looks like they're in press coverage here second and 10 Winston's on the move I think it's important for the defense anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are give a little ground and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker it was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Murphy's going to be so mad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. And then finally, you get open. They call a play where you're the, the primary guy. It's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. The football will come your way again. Roethlisberger's lined up. Two tight ends set. Look what the defensive line is doing. They're all pinching down inside. They're expecting a run. Bell right side. That's a gain of 10. Bell is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. First down, offense ready for the snap. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Roethlisberger over to Antonio Brown. Mark him down for another reception. Antonio Brown with the catch. When it comes to him, is it speed or quickness? Oh, man, it is both. And a pair of good hands. And the fact that he's one of the hardest workers in the NFL. And now you understand why this Pittsburgh Steelers let Mike Wallace go. They knew they had a star wide receiver in Antonio Brown. Well, every defense is looking for somebody to sack the quarterback. And that time, the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack. The Steelers have it at the 34. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. This is third down. Williams is in the backfield. Williams is ready to run off the screen, and incomplete. What a hit that time. Williams has really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. The Steelers turn the ball over on downs. The Steelers that time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision, but you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. You got to keep them up. The Buccaneers have it at the 34. The ball is charred out of his hands. 
Got to give the defense a lot of a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Winston's going to take it from the gun. Vincent Jackson with the catch. First down here after the completion. Back to the air here on first down. And it's swatted away. That leads us to second down. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. From the gun. And that'll probably go as a drop. Third long situations, a lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. Third down and 10, and Murphy makes the catch. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. I think that's playing it pretty safe, throwing that short pass on third long. I thought he had a chance to throw it down the field. He just couldn't pull the trigger and let it go. The Buccaneers believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. off the hit. Jackson's marked down at the 19. The Buccaneers with the gutsy call and they convert here on fourth and short. Yeah, it was. Gutsy call by the offense and the offensive coordinator. But look, this guy's willing to take chances and he tries these, these plays and these situations every game and that time they came through. What a catch by Evans. Coming up to the line at the 13. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. Pass is intercepted. Tackles made. Phil, this defense has come up with the interception, and now the offense would like to do its part here before the half. Absolutely. The offense take advantage of this situation. But let's talk about the defense. My gosh, they got some good players. And that was an awesome interception that he just made. And he makes the catch. No, no, the ball comes out. The ball is knocked out of his hands. Second and ten coming up. The Buccaneers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Third long coming up. You're losing by a couple scores on the defensive side. You must know the offense is not going to take a chance. So be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover. Looking to avoid a safety here on third down. Two-minute warning. Now looking at third down. The Steelers come to the line. The first down marker is at the 16. Here's Miller. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. So they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The Steelers are ready to punt this one away. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Hey, good job by the coach that time. If he has the courage to make this call, I give him all the credit because that call took some courage. First down coming up. Marcus Wheaton 
Well, but there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds and stop the clock. First down, following the long play. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Going for the home run. What a catch. Brown taken down. Third catch today so far. The Steelers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. to the line at the 28. Bell in the backfield. Single back set. Bell's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Steelers break huddle and show a jumbo look. Bell will get it on the toss and pick up about four. Bell's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Brown's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. you got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. and goal from the two. Johnson has got it on the handle. The offensive coordinator's done a great job of calling plays. Backed up, bad field position. Now they're down inside the red zone trying to score. Got a flag. The Steelers with no timeouts left. What a drive this has been. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. What a fine start to this game. Here we are late in the second quarter. They put up another touchdown, Phil. Well, they got a nice lead, and they like to take this in at halftime. And if you're the coach of the team that's leading at halftime, you know what you tell your players? Hey, guys, good job. Let's keep that going. You pat them on the rear and tell them how good they are because, hey, this has been a clinic so far in the first half. The Steelers ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the six. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Buccaneers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim. But you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. So far, wonderful execution in this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets out of the bounds, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. 
Jackson is tackled down. That'll do it for the first.